Uh, yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, um, obviously lots of emotions, lots of excitement, plenty of nerves, but um, yeah, it was just an unreal experience. Yeah, I'm the same too. It was pretty cool. Um, I think uh, our debut was in uh, America, in San Diego, so that was a cool experience. Yeah, really special. I mean, um, I guess much like you, it was a dream of one to play for my country. Um, so when it, when it happened, um, yeah, a lot of emotions, very special night. Uh, probably don't really kick in until uh, about an hour after the game when I was on the bus ride home. But you realised that you actually played for your country now. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay. Can you start from here? Uh, maybe the players, some of the players, they don't know you. If you can introduce your name and position that you play. So uh, my name's Ruben Love, play fullback. Uh, my name's George Bell, and I'm a hooker. Uh, my name's Pussy Tossy, uh, I play Tahi Prop. Mm -hmm. uh, my name's Luke Jacobson, and I play loose forward, back row. Okay. Question number two, this no, no, they don't start. Remember, they don't start. <laughs> <laughs> he's looking for a contract. <laughs> Maybe the question is, what skills you need to be or uh, have when you need to be at the international level team uh, that music them, especially music them, the special music and the different programs compared to South Africa. Uh, I think a, a positive attitude and you're having fun with what you're doing and making sure that you work hard uh, at all the trainings. Yeah, and that you're um, coachable as well, so you're keen to learn. Um, when coaches are trying to offer you feedback, you take it in and you try it out, see if it works for you, um, and try to take, take things on quickly. And don't give up. Um, opportunity can always come to anyone at any time, so if you think you're, you think you're fully sure or just keep, just keep your head on your, uh, your head on your shoulders and just keep striving. Okay, next question. Uh, morning, I'm Mashirne Murenzi. I'm rugby, I'm the team captain for Oldfield, the North of the Parker and the North Rugby. My question to you guys is, how do you guys feel under pressure going into a match and what do you guys do to like combat that emotion? That's a question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, pressure is just part of rugby. Um, it's going to be there, but um, the way you, you help yourself deal with it is your preparation through the week. Um, prepare for being in those situations. You um, visualise it, um, and you try and put yourselves in those situations when you're training, so that when it happens in a game, it feels a little bit more normal. Um, you, it's not such a surprise, and you can realise you're in the moment and just. Um, Try and take them in stride and try and walk towards it than rather than walk away from it. Okay. Well, uh, the question needs to be one person answering so that we stick to time. Yeah. Uh, next player. Good morning. Do you think I can take it? Ah, uh, the, the answer is no. Let's go. What meals do you have for a rugby match? What do you eat before a rapid game or a night or so? Yeah. Um, so before a rugby match, we would have um, mashed potatoes, um, spaghetti or baked beans, chicken or fish, um, yeah, or porridge. Yeah, scones, muffin, or scones, yeah. <laughs> KFC, KFC <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, no, no, no. No, no, KFC, no McDonald's. After the game. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> One guy. <laughs> <laughs>
just a more, more personal question. What what is your motivation for keep on playing rugby like as if you get dressed as a rugby player and you get to that point where you get stuck in your in your when you get stuck in increasing your potential, maximizing your skill as a So what keeps you guys going? Uh, I think for, for me it's, it's my family, um, making sure that my brothers, my nephews, my nieces, they all have food on the table and that they can go off and play their rugby tournaments because rugby can provide that to your family members as well. So um, just trying to, trying to make your friends proud and the community that you grew up with, just like your friends here. Everyone's got the same dream in South Africa and New Zealand, I feel the same, so if they see you playing for the Springboks and it's a win for all your friends as well, so making sure that you're just doing it for your friends as well as yourself and your community. I think it's really important as well that you do it for the enjoyment. Like we all love playing rugby. Um, we all grew up loving playing rugby and we became professional rugby that players um, on the back of loving um, rugby and going out there and playing with our mates and having fun. And then we still do that now, even though um, it, it's become our job. Um, every time we're out there on the field, we're having fun. Um, and even though sometimes there's tough times, you're losing, it doesn't quite go the way you want, but uh, it makes it easier to make it easier to make it easier. Okay, that's good. Yes. Now, all the boys will ask you. I think it's a good question. Good morning. Anybody here? I want to ask you guys, what makes New Zealand one of the best countries that uh, have what, what accommodations you guys take to the team? What uh, countries that New Zealand one of the outstanding rugby teams? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, like, it just goes back to, we just love it as a country. I think um, we've just started playing it so young um, and it's just in our roots, whereas a lot of other countries have got potentially other sports, but in, in New Zealand we're such a passionate rugby country, and I think that's uh, the main reason. Another question from this one. I'm wanted to ask how you as an individual and your team keep losses for example when you're doing a piece of work and yeah, yeah, problem time. problem time. I think take losses. Uh, uh, so I, I, that, uh, yeah, I think the thing about losses is they make you look at yourself a lot harder <laughs> than when you win. So you look at your week before, um, how you prepared. Pretty much how you, how you play on Saturday is a lot to do with um, how you prepared during the week. So after a loss, you'll look back over things um, a little bit harder, bring the magnifying glass out and find a few different things that you think you're going to be able to change to make the next week better. Uh, my name is Roman Javignano and I just wanted to ask, um, in your times of playing rugby, have you ever felt doubts or negative thoughts on how people used to talk when um, they demotivated you and um, yeah, I just want to ask how do you all cope in that situation? Do you like control it or take it? Well, um, yeah, well, that will always just call in and um, it will always try and find its way in to um, kind of get. Yeah. Kind of make it that yourself, but that's the way I use it. I use it as kind of motivation. Um, without me, I just have to have a couple of hours. I can't make it. Um, I can't keep going. But, uh, you know, I don't know. It's pretty hard to. Um, yeah, I, when I, when I, uh, you can say that, like, we kind of got here. Without doubting ourselves, you know, we thank ourselves to get here. So, same for you. One day you can take the screen box. Thank you for that.
Yeah, it's you know it's busy. It's uh, like uh, you know because we're professional rugby players, so you know this is our job. But similar to people that go work in the office or wherever, you know, as they say, like a nine to five job. You know, we we start eight o'clock in the morning, and you know depends what day it is. Like sometimes, um, you know, they can go. To, um, till like nine o'clock at night because we have, um, you know, with all our recovery stuff, um, everything we do to look after our bodies, um, you know, it's all the sacrifices you do, you have to look after your body because, you know, this is what we used to play. And um, yeah, you know, Monday we with gym, um, we watch the game from the weekend and we watch the game of the team that we're about to play. We do our reviews and previews. Um, yeah, and then we'll go out and train and then come back, have lunch, have a little break and then we'll go again and train and then we'll do the same thing. But then in a week we'd have one day off and then so usually it's on a Wednesday, the game is on Saturday um, and yeah, that day off's really good, you know, the, the boys, especially here, the boys went to the safari, to the park. Lion I want to go see my brothers, the lions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, things like that. Um, you know, we have a day off where we get to enjoy, and then you know, Thursday, and then we're back to work again. Like then today, today too as well. Like we, you know, we're very privileged to be here with you guys. Um, we usually have our mornings um, where we get to do uh, promo uh, promotional stuff. Um, so yeah, well, we're actually very privileged to be here with you kids today. Um, and then after this, we go back and we go train and prepare for the game tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah. Good. Um, well, I think we're going to take a group photograph um, and, and then do some 